All right. So you guys know cotangent. We said uh, cotangent of theta is the same thing as 1 over tangent theta, right? We also took a look at tangent of theta then is equal to 1 over cotangent of theta. Correct? Now, when looking at a unit circle, ladies and gentlemen, we have our unit circle. And we have our three points. And I'm going to go, go over one more time with you. First one, pi over 6, square root of 3, times 1 half. Pi over 4, which is 45 degrees. Okay, Chase? Square root of 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. And last one, pi over 3, which I'm running out of space, is going to be 1 half, comma, radical 3 over 2. Okay, so those are your three points. Now, what we need to remember, these are three points that are on our unit circle, which we label, you know, T. And each T, for each radian, has an X and a Y um, coordinate, right? This is the X, that's the Y for each one of those points. So what they're asking is for what angle is when, um, for what angle when my coordinates are, when cotangent is equal to square root of 3 over 3. Now remember, I told you that tangent of theta equals 1 over cotangent of theta. <coughs> well, the next thing that you could probably look at is what do tangent, cotangent, and you know sine, cosine, all those equal? Remember, sine of t represents your y coordinate. Cosine of t represents your x coordinate. Tangent of t is your y over your x. And cotangent is equal to my x over my y. Now, you could say real quickly, well, remember this is your x, x coordinate, and your y coordinate. So which one of these, when I take my x over my y, is going to produce the result of square root of 3 over 3? And you might say, well, you know, I don't know. You could do a guess and check. There's really only three points that you could do. You could take each one of these x values and put them over your y value and see which one. So you could say 1 half over radical 3 over 2, right? That's the x over the y. You could say radical 2 over 2 divided by radical 2 over 2. And the last one, you could say radical 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. So does everybody see what I did? I took the x divided by the y for each one of those coordinates. <coughs> Right? Because that's what cotangent equals, is x over y. You remember that? So I took all my x over my y's, and I said, all right, well, which one is going to produce the square root of 3 over 2? And square root of 3 over 3. And by doing my math, uh, this one's going to produce the result that I want. So this one was 1 half over this, so I know it's going to be pi over 60, right? OK, let's say you didn't understand really what I did, because or you don't want to go through the whole guess and check. You do know that tangent is 1 over cotangent of theta, right? So let's say you take tangent of theta equals 1 over, what is cotangent? Radical 3 <coughs> over 3. So if I was to get rid of that, I would multiply by 3, radical 3. And what I'd have is 3 over um, radical 3, rationalize the denominator. I'm sorry, those cancel out. So when I have that, that's going to cancel out, so I'll get radical 3. Um, so when you look at this one, and this is just another way, so therefore the tangent of theta equals radical 3. So which one of these, when you look at the tangent, meaning the y over the x, give you a, a radical 3? And you could say this one is going to produce a radical 3 because the square root of 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 half, what happens? Those cancel out, and you're just left with a radical 3. So this one's a little bit more difficult when you're given, when you're given a tangent or a cotangent. Does everybody see where, why this is more difficult? radical 3 over 3 is just radical 3. 
What are you talking about? Here? No. Down. 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 There. Right. There. Yeah, what I did was I multiplied across. Three times radical three is three radical three. Radical three times radical three is three. The threes cancel out, so that's why I'm just left with the radical three. So therefore I said, oh, what is the oh. tangent? Which tangent is going to produce me radical 3? So I looked at my three points, and I remembered, OK, tangent is y over x, right? So which one, when I produce my y over my x, will produce me a radical 3? Well, this one, square root of 3 over 2, which is my y, divided by my x, which is 1 half, when I simplify that, gives me radical 3. Okay. It's just a lot of practice and knowing and understanding. But the main important thing is understanding, first, what cotangent and tangent are. It's your ratio of x over y or y over x. All right? It's a little bit more difficult problem. I completely understand.